This is live from Memorex. Everybody, how you doing? Jeff here at 162 saying hello. Listen, uh, there's a channel that I watch a lot. Uh, matter of fact, I got I hit the bell for notifications for all the stuff that comes up, so I get the, I don't miss anything. Uh, his name is Arco, and his channel name is Outlaw Edge. I don't know if you guys know better, check it out, but go ahead and check it out. It's worth it. He's a good guy, good stuff going on, good content. Anyway, in one of his latest videos, he was talking about the Bondo brand body filler being junk. And uh, so I, I messaged him, I made a comment, and I asked, well, what stuff do you use? He told me. And it was this Roberlo Maxi Fill. It's a lightweight body filler. So what I thought I would do is run them side by side, same time, do a video on it, and see what the difference is on him myself. But I'm going to get it something straight right now. I'm not doing it because I'm doubting Arco's word. I tell you, in the past, I watched some of his other videos when he's doing reviews on tools or products. He doesn't monkey stick around, man. He doesn't monkey around. He'll tell you the real, real thing about it. If it's, uh, you know, if it's, if it's crap, it's crap. He's gonna tell you it's crap. He ain't gonna play no games. He ain't gonna pay no play kiss butt for the, you know, the makers or the product pushing crap or whatever, you know. He's going to be real about it, so go check out his videos, especially when you're doing reviews on something. You'll get the right word, the honest word, the real word from, from him. And, uh, but this, this here right here, I'm just doing this for my own. I want to see what the difference is. I feel that uh, if I did it one, you know, three, four days ago and then come up to this three, four days away you know separate time I wouldn't comprehend it the difference I think we can comprehend the difference by just doing them side by side so I took a pick hammer beat up this piece of metal a little bit ground it down I got a new piece of plexiglass to mix up the two side by side Well, all that's left is just start doing it. I'm gonna stop the camera for a minute, get stuff situated, put on the mask. It's not the greatest mask, but it's better than nothing. And uh, get tools set up and ready to go, and we'll see what's going on. All right. First, I'm gonna mix up some of the uh, lightweight fill. Your Burlo, Rob Burlo, rather. I'm not gonna get crazy, but oh, look at that. That's creamy like. Shoot, Bondo doesn't do that. The Bondo brand. That's almost like paint. That's cool. But we're not gonna mix up a bunch. Come on. Probably should throw some more in there. It's going to be overkill, I don't need it, but that's going to just harden up too fast. Way too fast. I'd rather harden up a little easier than that. It's a uh, different color hardener, blue. That's probably too much for this batch, but what the heck.
that mixed in real good. Almost like a pea green when you're done mixing it. Of course, it's probably pretty hot mix I did. Anyway, it is what it is on that part. All right. All right, welcome back, you guys. We're going to first off hit it up lightly with 40 grit. See if I can see any difference in sanding with that. And then I figure I'll shoot a shot of guide coat. Just to see how well 220 on a machine sander takes away the 40 grit scratches. And, uh, and you know, I'm not going to go down with finer sandpaper grit. I just want to do it real quick, see what what. So here we go. I got something, but it ain't much. Alright, I don't know if you can see with the camera or not. But there's very little there on the Bondo brand side. And I'll do this other. Roberlo, I guess you say how to pronounce it. Merlo brand body filler. And look at all that. So yeah, easy sanding. It's obviously easy sanding. Hmm. All right, so I'm not gonna clown around too long. I don't wanna make this video long and boring. I'm gonna take it up with a little bit of guide coat, let it set dry. Go back over with 220 electric sander. I don't have an air hooked up right now. That's okay. But we're going to see what the 220 does and how well it takes off the uh, 40 good scratches. All right. Okay. I got a little bit of guide coat on it. While we're letting it set and dry, I want to mention something. This stuff here, chemically, whew, heck of strong. I don't have a respirator. But I made up my mind after this, going to go get one tomorrow. Um, this little N95 mask don't do stink. I got a pretty good little buzz off this thing. <laughs> this stuff is super strong. You want a well ventilated area, and you want to make sure you're wearing a respirator with this. It's no joke. So anyway, Let's see, this guide coat's already, yeah. Let me get the sander ready and then we'll do some sanding. So just for the little test reason on this, I'm not going to fire up the air compressor and put oil in the sander and all that. I'll just 220 electric sand. It'll give me the same results. It'll get answered the same questions as we want answered as far as uh, how well this does. So let's roll. Burlo Maxifil definitely easier to sand less time sanding it looks like it does the same as Bondo brand as far as taking out the 40 grit scratches it's a it's a pretty much the same thing but getting it done faster is this guy right here uh, I can run my hand aside and I don't feel any edges. 
I sanded the same amount, same pattern and everything, running aside, and I, got, I still have an edge with the Bondo brand. So that tells me this sands a lot faster and easier, saving time right there. Uh, on this Bondo brand, I don't know, there's some pits in it. I can't help but think that's the diff, the thickness of it and allowing air pockets in there. And when you sand it down, you have air pockets exposed. That's causing the pits. This one, I don't see any air pockets at all. And I believe that would be because how creamy it is and how easy it is to mix and flatten out and spread. It eliminates the air pockets at the same time. So in my opinion, heck yeah, this is worth it. I need uh, more time with it to get more detailed of why it's worth it. But I'm, right now, as it's so right now, I'm sold on uh, this route. So anyway, enough of me rambling. You guys take it easy. Hit like, subscribe on my channel if you want. Uh, leave a comment. Nice to hear from you. Take it easy.